thank you to everyone who's visited our website and Facebook page. One of our viewers has gone online with her problem. She's got yellowing leaves on her magnolia. And I've got the same problem here with the leaves on my gardenia. They have yellow leaves with darker green veins. It's really common in Perth's alkaline soils. While the nutrients that the gardenia needs are in the soil, the pH is too high and so the plants are unable to access them through the roots. The solution is to treat the problem with iron chelates. Mix according to the packet instructions and spray it over the foliage. At this time of the year, the leaves should look better in a few days. I'll show you a few more problems in my garden that you're likely to find in your garden too. Black spot is the scourge of rose growers. The circular black spots on the leaves are fringed with yellow margins. The leaves will fall prematurely and you can either pick some off or spray them with a fungicide. I'm using Trifarine, which is a systemic fungicide absorbed into the sap stream. It works as both a preventative as well as destroying diseases already in the plant. I'll have to spray every seven to 10 days until I'm rid of it. Since I've already mixed up a spray bottle of Trifarine, I'm gonna use it to treat the powdery mildew on this climbing rose. Powdery mildew is also a fungus and it makes the leaves go distorted, white and powdery. You can also treat powdery mildew with a milk solution. One part milk to 10 parts water, but this must be applied at the very first signs of powdery mildew. Once it's well established, it's better to use a chemical product. The last problem with my roses is scale. Scale is a sap sucking insect that lives on the branches and sucks the sap out of the plant. Fortunately, it's very easy to treat using horticultural oil, which smothers the insects. The rains have also brought out the snails. Look at the holes in my leaves on my new orange tree. I'm putting down an organic bait by sinking a yogurt container filled with wine into the ground. At least the snails will die happy. So act as soon as you see garden problems in your yard. Use iron chelates for yellowing foliage, make snail traps for those little pesty snails, use horticultural oil on scale and fungicide for powdery mildew and black spot and you'll soon have all of your problems solved. If you have a problem or two in your garden and need a little help, head to our website. You'll find all our fact sheets, amazing giveaways and right now, for half price, you can pick up a copy of the West Australian Garden Guide which will have the answers to so many garden issues right here in the West.